showing you guys my new apartment. So my last video was a tour of my old apartment and you guys left so much positive feedback about that video so thank you guys so much for all of your comments and likes and also subscribing. So I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this new apartment. It's a completely different vibe than the old one so I'm definitely excited to show you guys what all I've got done so far. It's not completely finished but it's on the way so I'll definitely keep you guys updated with future videos of everything that I plan to put in here and everything that you know I do end up adding to the mix so definitely be on the lookout for that so without further ado let's get into the video alrighty guys so when you walk into the apartment this is how it looks over here is the entryway little mudroom area it just has some little cubby holes where you can put decor or whatever you need to put um you know i just have a vase here with some pompous grass um up here i just have an hourglass the same one from my old apartment is from target i have a little book of me and my boyfriend from our little dates i gave him that for valentine's day and i kept the copy for myself it's from chat books i can link that down below it's a really really cute gift so i definitely recommend you know checking them out I have this little candle from Home Goods, excuse the sticker on there, and this little figurine thing from Home Goods as well. Um, this candle and bead. Uh, the candle's from Target, the bead is from Amazon. Um, it came with a pack of them, so I'll show you guys that later. And then I have the Zara Home um, scented cards and white jasmine from Home Goods. The pompous grass is from Lux Bee, and this vase is from Home Goods. It originally came in yellow. But my dad spray painted it with a flat black paint. So yeah, this is how the entryway looks. We just put our shoes at the bottom. And yes, I love that. It's definitely a vibe when you walk in. So I like this area. I'll probably keep that how it is um, moving forward. So yes. All right, so moving on to the kitchen. Um, we just have the refrigerator, of course, um, these dark espresso cabinets. They're like an ashy espresso. They're kind of similar to my old cabinets in my other apartment. So I really like them. Um, so this is the overall look of the cabinetry and the countertops. Um, it's a white quartz and, of course, a subway tile here. So I love that. All right. So over here, I have this homemade lovely book. I got this from Target. It's really, really cute. It's decorative and informative, so that's always good. It was only $16. It has a really, really nice decor ideas inside of it, so I definitely recommend picking that up at Target if you see it. Oh, here's this bowl that I got from Home Goods. When I saw it, I instantly fell in love with it. It's really, really pretty. I wanted to add the natural wood tones to the kitchen, so I love that. Inside of it is just a sage that i got from five below y'all let me know if this is legit i'm scared to burn it because i just don't know what's gonna happen so comment below and let me know if y'all have tried sage from five below so here is the charles shaw uh brand of wine it's a pinot grigio and a rose that i picked up from trader joe's they were 3.99 so i just wanted to see what it was about because it was cheap so i love how it looks though it definitely adds some glam to the kitchen breaks up a little bit of that wood so i love how that looks over here is this beautiful cutting board that i got from home goods and then i got this marble slab from ross the cutting board was 14 dollars, and the marble slab was 6.99 i just use this marble slab to put my cooking utensils on while i'm cooking and i just love how the wood and marble looks together so over here in this corner of course i have my echo show with my favorite bible verse and we know all things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Romans 8.28, child. <laughs> love that. That's my favorite. I got this plant from Five Below. She's probably about to make her exit soon because she's serving me low budget. I'm not really feeling that too much. The leaves are looking a little bit on the cheap side. I really got it because I like the gold tones in it. And I wanted to kind of break up. The woodsy situation here is looking a little bit farmhouse. That's not the vibe I was going for. Nothing is wrong with farmhouse. It's just not what I was trying to go for for my new apartment style. So she might have to go. We'll see. 
But right here is just my bottle of sand that I got from Panama on my first spring break trip a long time ago. And I filled it up with sand and it's just very special to me because that was a very, very fun time. And that was like my first trip away um, from home by myself with my friends. So it's definitely a special um, souvenir, you can say. I just want to fill my home with things from my travels. It just makes a more interesting home, you know. All right, so right here we have this utensil holder. Uh, I hated the fact that it said utensils on it. Girl, no ma'am. I hate that. So I turned it around and left it like that. I love the stone look. The cement look is giving modern. Um, I, I like that a lot. The, um, the wooden utensils came from home goods and the holder came from home goods too. And the little bead came from Amazon along with two others that I'll show you guys later. But this is what it looks like. And it's super cute. I love that. It's given farmhouse, but it's okay because I love the way that it looks. So this is the overall look of that. So if we're going to go ahead and move on to over here so right here i got this muddler from home goods i got this book from target um it's the magnolia table and then i got this keurig from target too um this is a really really cute cookbook i might try some recipes in it i'm not too sure yet um, if i get some time i'll look through it and see but i've been looking at the pictures of course and everything looks so good so this um, book is definitely visually aesthetic so I like how that looks, so. Oh, look, it's Fendi. Hey, Finn. I hate that her cage has to be out in the open like this. At the other apartment, she had her own separate room. At this one, that is not the case. So she has to be out and about with us, which isn't a bad thing. We love her, so it's all good. Um, if we move on here to the sink area, I just have this marble tray uh, that I got from Home Goods. Um, the soap dispenser from the other apartment is also from Home Goods. I don't think I'll keep that there. I definitely want to get some aesthetically pleasing soap dispensers for this area. But um, the other one was Champagne Toast from Bath and Body Works. And this paper towel holder here is from Target. I wanted to add the gold brass tones. And the paper towel is the Viva brand. I got that from Target. You can get that from any store. Um, it's expensive, but it's soft and it feels good. So I definitely love that paper towel. And then here's this massive island. Um, it's huge. Um, there's no dining room. So I guess that's the reasoning for it being so big. But I love that. Um, I have my pompous grass from Lux B here. And I just have this tray that I got from Target. It's Hearth and Hand Collection. It's called a Lazy Susan. <laughs> because it spins like that. So I definitely like the wood and the black tone of that. Um, definitely giving chic, but also natural too. So I love that. Um, this knot here is a limestone knot, which is hard to come by. I had to order it online and it's always out of stock. So if you come across that, get that. It's the Studio McGee collection um, from Target. And this candle here is, I love the brass tones. It's Hearth and Hand Collection from Target. And then this linen spray is from Zara Home. I got that from Home Goods. And then this ceramic vase. Oh my gosh. I love this vase. It's beautiful. I got it from Target. It's, um, the Project 62 brand. The texture is incredible. It looks so high end. It's beautiful. Okay, I love that. And I just put my pompous grass. It's the same pompous grass from the entryway, just three more sticks. And I threw that in there. That may not stay. I may put something else in there. But for now, I just like the way that looked. So this is the overall look of the kitchen. Um, there's some greenery on top of the cabinetry. And here are my bar stools that I got from Amazon. Um, they were $94 a piece and they are uncomfortable. I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys know. Um, they're really cute and they're really, you know, aesthetically pleasing, but they are uncomfortable and I don't like to sit on them. Not going to lie to y'all. Um, and then over here is my mirror from Target. I love that this area is empty right now because I'm not sure what to put, but I do have a console table on the way. 
I can make a separate video for that if y'all want to see how I style that. But uh, yeah, oh, hey. <laughs> but yeah, so what do y'all think should go here? Like, what do y'all, what is y'all's opinion? Put in the comments what you think will look good right here because I just don't know. All right, so moving on to the living room. This is probably my favorite part of the apartment so far. I love the way everything is turning out. It's nowhere near complete, but it's just, it's looking so good so far. I need to get some lamps and, you know, just some more things for it. But the sofa is the same sofa from the other apartment. It's the Cindy Crawford collection at Rooms to Go. These big black pillows were from Home Goods. They were actually gray, but I just switched the pillow covers to black. So this is how it came out. I can link that down below as well. The white pillows from Home Goods too. And then these big um, frames are from Ikea and the prints are from Desenio. So these frames are called the Ribba frame from Ikea. I can link those down below and the, I just put the prints from Desenio inside of them. So I'm loving how this is looking so far. And yeah, it's just looking nice. So here we go to the coffee table. It's the same coffee table from the other apartment. I still have my Storm candle. Y'all know I love Storm. This is my favorite candle. Um, here is just a ceramic um, stoneware bowl from the Heart the Hand collection at Target. I love that. I, I've been playing around with textures in this new place. And I just, I'm loving that. And I just filled it with some moss from Hobby Lobby. Over here is a homebody book um, from Joanna Gaines from the Heart the Hand collection. Um, this book is beautiful. I just took the cover off and it, there was this beautiful book underneath the cover. It's almost like a linen um, cover to it. I love that. And it has some very, very nice pictures in it. A very interesting book to read. So pick that up if you see it. It adds some nice touches to the living room so here's how the tv section looks it's the same entertainment center from wayfair i'm not really a fan of how the wires have to show but this apartment did not have wiring in the middle of the wall like my old apartment did so there's that i got this vase from target i love the modern look it is the project 62 collection this is so cute i love that i have this same chanel book from my other apartment it is from amazon and my barack obama book is from target this crystal is beautiful the video is not doing it any justice i want to find a bigger one for this area but this one will do for now but i love this crystal it's so pretty this tray i got from home goods Oh my gosh, when I saw this, I was like, you are coming home with me. <laughs> this tray is gorgeous. It is, it looks cultural. It looks aged. It looks antique almost. It is just beautiful. I'm in love with that. So definitely check out your home goods for these. Inside of the tray, I just placed the larger bee from the uh, pack of bees that I got from Amazon that I showed you guys earlier. Uh, the other two were smaller and then this is the larger one. Um, I'll link that down below so you guys can check that out. But I love the feminine touch that the bead adds. Over here is this head that I got from Home Goods. I liked it when I saw it. I don't know how I feel about it now, but y'all let me know how y'all feel about this head. I just wanted something that looked modern and added black to the situation. So let me know how y'all feel about this. But I definitely want to add a plant to this corner. It's looking kind of empty, but ooh, that wire is driving me nuts, y'all. I cannot with the wire. So maybe if I get a plant, the plant will camouflage or fix the situation. I just can't with the wire. But anyways, <laughs> this basket here is from Ross. It was only $12. I love it. I love the wood tones of it. It looks really, really good. I just put a blanket inside of it, but here is the overall look of the living room overlooking the kitchen i like how everything is coming out so far y'all let me know what y'all think um things will probably be switched around but i'll definitely keep you guys updated on what i change so if we walk over here this is just a little hallway to my laundry room bathroom and bedroom over here is the laundry room it's just a door with a stackable washer and dryer behind it they're really nice, they're modern and digital, so I'm definitely enjoying those. 
down here is my Robovac. We got this from Target. It's really convenient, especially having a dog because they shed hair everywhere and sometimes you're not able to see it. So this thing picks it all up. So definitely get one of these. And here's the bathroom. I love this bathroom. I think I lied when I said the living room was my favorite part of the apartment. I think the bathroom is actually my favorite part of the apartment. I definitely went for spa vibes. I wanted to feel like I was on vacay, like I was at a hotel. So I just have the spa vibes going in here. I love this bathroom so much. I always feel at peace. The walk-in shower I am obsessed with. It's beautiful. So I'll show you guys over here. I just have my Chanel cotton swabs. I have some towels on display. These are from the Walmart Hotel Luxury Collection. And I just have my Bath & Body Works um, sleep collection on top of a marble tray that I got from Home Goods. This sleep collection is so relaxing. I am in love with it. The foot cream actually does make your feet super smooth. So check that out if you have not already. Loving that. So yeah, so this is just my spa vibes for myself. Then down here, I have these palm leaves that I got from Home Goods. Um, here is the barbershop shave candle from Home Goods as well. It smells so good. And this marble body wash smells good as well. Love that so much. Here I have Osiria skin butter cream. This is actually my aunt's skincare line everything is handmade it's all natural products so i'll link that down below for you guys to check out it's amazing i have these zara home scented cards in dark amber which are from home goods then we move down again and i just have you know some towels big towels from walmart the hotel luxury collection they are super soft and they are huge and then down here, I just have this basket to put used towels in from Target. It was only $10. So yeah, moving on to the sink area. These are quartz countertops, same espresso cabinets as the kitchen. On top of here, I just have this tray that I got from Home Goods, And then I have the same jars that I got from Hobby Lobby to hold the cotton balls and Q-tips. Those were really cheap. The soap dispenser is from Home Goods as well. I really wanted that black and clear look, so I, that's what I went for for that. So loving how that looks. Moving on over here, I just have this candle from Home Goods, and then I have this vase from Michaels with a towel, and these dry palm leaves are from Lux B, which is where I got my pompous grass. I'll link all that down below so you guys can check that out. Moving on to this beautiful picture. This is another ripper frame from Ikea and another poster print from Desenio. I love this picture. I think that it looks so modern and fun and I just I just like that so much. Um, down here is just a toilet bowl cleaner from Target and then the trash can is from Home Goods. Moving on to this beautiful walk-in shower that I am obsessed with. Inside the shower, I got this table from Five Below. It was only $5, y'all. When I saw this table, I was like, let me get that. <laughs> I've been looking for a table forever, and they're always so expensive, the little ones that go inside the shower. So finding this was a steal. The full eucalyptus plant came from Home Goods. The brush and the scrub as well came from Home Goods. So my bath mats are from Target. And yeah. This is the overall look of the bathroom. Let me know what you guys think. Are we at the spa or what? <laughs> All right, let's move on to the bedroom. Okay, so this is my bedroom. It's literally the same exact bedroom as my other apartment. Nothing has really changed. It's still glam, still the same decorations, furniture, everything. So if you wanna know where anything is from, definitely check out my other apartment tour video. Um, the only thing that's new here is this Casa Luna room spray. It smells so good. I got it from Target. Um, it's calming. It's, it just smells really, really good. So definitely check that out. They have a few other scents as well. So yes, love that. So over here, it's just my vanity. The same thing. Nothing's changed, you guys. So check out that other video for details.
All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a little outfit of the day. Today I have on a corduroy button-up shirt from Nasty Gal. Love Nasty Gal, definitely check them out. They have the cutest clothes. My crop top is from Pretty Little Thing. I love to shop Pretty Little Thing for basics and they also have very cute clothes as well. And my jeans are from Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova jeans are undefeated, so definitely check them out. If you want to see more outfits of the day, you guys, let me know. I definitely want to make some more fashion videos. So let me know what you guys think. All right, moving on to the closet here. I love these double doors. Definitely giving luxury vibes. If we come into the closet, it is huge. I just have shoes up here. I have purses going across over here. And yeah, I love this closet. It's way bigger than my other closet. So definitely feeling this, loving this. Definitely want to make it more organized. So I love that. This is my boyfriend's side. And over here is where I keep my inventory for my boutique. I do own an online boutique. If you guys want to check that out, it's BlairTheBoutique.com. I will link that down below. Definitely check that out, you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Um, here's just my printer. And yeah, so this is the overall look of the closet. It's a whole nother space. <laughs> I definitely also want to show you guys these hanging wig heads. These are so convenient. I got these from Amazon. I'll go ahead and link these down below for you guys. Here's another thing that I want to show you guys. I got this soul therapy journal from Amazon from Positive Soul on Instagram. This is a really, really good journal. This year, I definitely wanna be intentional about reflection and, you know, interpersonal work. So definitely check this journal out. The prompts are definitely good topics to reflect on. So check it out. Guys, so I'm gonna take you guys outside on the balcony. It's way bigger than my other balcony, so I'm gonna have to do some work out here to make it come together the way I want to, but the view, is nice i love the pool view but it's the same furniture i'll probably get some new furniture moving forward but that's just what it is for now it's cold outside currently so i'm not too worried about it um but yeah this is the balcony it's a really really good size so i can't wait to decorate that and i'll definitely keep you guys updated all right you guys this is the end of the video fendi says hi <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys later.